Okay, so let's start the lesson, the beginning lesson on perspective, on both two-point and one-point perspective. So this is a drawing I had already done. Right now what I'm doing is I'm adding back in the horizon line, and I'm also making two points, the ones I used to draw this, of perspective. So they are sitting right there on the horizon line. And then what I'm doing is connecting from the point to where the uh, edge of the building is. So I've got that vertical line. So from the vertical line to the two different points, I've drawn those lines. And then the ones that are on top of the building, I'm doing the same thing. You can see I'm going from the very tip corner down to the point. Then drawing in the vertical lines again, reinforcing the lines of the actual building and then I will be able to erase those uh, vertical, not vertical, the uh, diagonals that I drew. Now, that's two point. These other two boxes are one point. So in other words, you draw what's facing you. If you see something, it's facing you directly, it's going to be one point perspective. If it's not facing you, if it's got two sides and you're looking at a corner of it, or, or you know, not the exact side, that'll be two-point perspective. So why don't we start again, and I'll just start a whole new drawing of this. So I'm going to go in with a new, new sheet of paper, and I'm going to draw a horizon line. And then I'm going to draw a vertical line any place. It doesn't matter where I put it. I'm just going to draw it somewhere. And I think I'll draw it below the horizon line. So there's my vertical. Now I'm going to pick two spots that I want to be my um, two-point perspective, and I'm going to connect the vertical to both of those. The next thing I want to do is decide where do I want the other two verticals to go? How big do I want this building to be? Then where the vertical touches the upper line, I connect that to the opposite point, and that gives me the top of the box or the roof. Now, this is a bird's eye view drawing. Here I can erase all these lines. Once you erase those lines, suddenly it becomes a building or a box or whatever. This is a very dramatic angle because you're looking down on it, like an airplane just taking off. So let's say I wanted to do something that was two point and it was again below the horizon line, but a shorter vertical. And then I can choose one side to make it really long and one side to make it really short. And then I connect from those two to the other opposite points to get my roof or the top of the box. And then just redraw those again and then erase the other lines. Don't erase the points because you're going to be referring to those all throughout the drawing. Now I've got two buildings standing here. And look at how one is closer to me than the other. So here's, I think, where I'm going to do one that is on the uh, eye level. So, so it, co it goes top and bottom over that. And now I'm looking straight at it. I will not see a roof. And I can make it as big or as small as I want. So see, by choosing, if you want eye level, worm's eye view, or eye... Uh, bird's eye view is where you draw that first line. Okay, now let's do it again. Draw the horizon line. Now we're going to do, um, let's do this again. Pick that out, two different points. This is two point perspective. You connect those lines and you choose where you're going to put your end of the building. And now as you get closer to being eye level, it gets a little trickier to do these other two lines. And if you did this with a ruler, it would work really well. Now I've got this building. I'm looking right at the corner of it, right in the middle of my paper. So now what if I want to put windows on this? Well, what I would do is I would mark out where I want 
the levels or the lines to go across. It would be the top and bottoms of the windows, and I would line those up also with the perspective point. On this side of the building, go to the right one. On the other side, go to the left one. You could do this if you wanted to draw a modern building that had that kind of a design on the front of it, but I'm going to do windows here. So now I'm going to just do a few little verticals to indicate where the windows are going to be. On both sides. And then I will color those in just quickly because I want it to really look like windows. Okay, so now I've got windows. First one I would put in a sidewalk. So you can see I'm still using the two-point perspective to do the sidewalk because the sidewalk will be the same distance from the edge of the building on both sides. Okay, so here it is that I'm deciding to put that elevator building, whatever you want to call it. So I find my horizontal, how big I want it to be, how tall off the top of the building, and then I do the exact same thing. I connect that to the two points of perspective, and then I just kind of erase. I was seeing the edge of the building through that, so of course we wouldn't, so I erased that. So I'm just erasing here and there, cleaning it up. Now what if I wanted to put another elevator bank or something on there? So I'm going to draw another vertical. I'm going to use the exact same two points of perspective to get the, the uh, angle correct. There's one. And then I'll do the other one, and then the verticals. And I'm going to draw it a little bit better, and I'm going to erase where I, can't, I shouldn't be able to see through it. Now, if the sun was coming from there, if it was that direction, then the side of those would be lit, and the other sides would probably be in shadow. I'm just going to add a little shadow there. And as soon as I add the shadow, do you see how it becomes three-dimensional? And I'll do it on the other whole side of the whole big building. See how it does that? Now, if we got rid of all of our lines that go to the perspective point it'll cl and clean it up, it'll look like a much cleaner drawing of a building. And I'm doing a little bit of shadows that would be cast by those little building things there, making it a little darker, adding a doorway, because you'd have to be able to use that as a way to get up if it was a staircase, add a doorway. Now, add little mountains or anything on the horizon. Suppose this was in the middle of the desert and there were mountains off, way off in the distance. Or I could add clouds, I could add whatever I want. Okay, so see after I erase all of those, how clean it looks? I'll clean up the sidewalk a little bit too. So I would call this a thumbnail sketch using two-point perspective. This is not a final drawing. A final drawing, you'd want to use a ruler 
You would want to get some really crisp part edges. You'd want those windows to be the exact same height. You'd be really careful with all of this. But now you see if we go back to what I had, same idea, two point perspective. Now what happens if we're going to do one point perspective? Here we would just draw a box because you're looking directly at it. It's in your sight flat into your perspective. So you just pick one perspective point. You draw those three lines over to there. Then you choose your length of it and you do the, op the piece across the top too. Be pretty much parallel. And you can erase those lines and you have the side of a building. You're looking at one side of the building and the other side. So let's say we had another building over here where, again, the perspective is that it's one point because you're looking flat right at that side of the building. Okay, erase some of those lines. Don't never erase the the point though until you're completely finished with the drawing because you need to access it. So if you're going to add more buildings, you always need to go to the same one if you want these buildings to be lining up. Right now that's what we're going to do. We're going to make kind of a street. So here's another one over here. Completely different shapes. We've got a tall one, a flat one. The flat one is probably going to be longer, long and flat, like a warehouse, where the other two are more like city buildings. Okay, now we've got three buildings out in the middle of the desert. What to do next? Well, how about if we add another building in front of that first one that we drew? Or maybe sidewalk? Before we do that, we could add windows, it's the same thing we did before. So we marked off on that vertical where the lines would be. So if you're using a ruler, you would make those each section the same exact height and decide what distance between the two sections and make that exactly the same. But here I'm doing it pretty freehand. And then I'm putting these big picture windows in the bottom. So it almost starts to look like um, a tower, a building that is standing on um, pillars. Mm -hmm. Now suppose we add another building on top of the building another little thing. So we just draw, again, it's going to be the same exact facing us using the same one point perspective. And we're still in bird's eye view because we're below the horizon line. Okay, now erase those lines.
Okay, so what if we wanted to put some kind of a radio tower or something on top of that building? Well, if it's that kind of triangular shape, really, if let's assume it's round, so we'll only be able to give it form by some shading when we decide where the sun is. But that works. Then how about if we add a couple more buildings down there towards the horizon line in front of the first building we drew. So basically it's the exact same thing, it's just that the first building is hiding part of the second building. So you have to be figure out what lines will show and which ones will not. And is it attached to this building or is there a little bit of a street in between or an alleyway between? We just do that and then um, look, adding some sidewalk, adding a little bit alleyway between there. And usually sidewalks curve. They're not a hard edge because, you know, that's where you cross the street so it, they make it a little bit softer corners. And I feel like this other building, the one on the side, we'll get rid of that because I think that it's not in the right place. But before we do that, let's get a little bit more sidewalk in on this one. So now look what it's starting to become. It's starting to become a street with buildings on either side of the street. So why don't we add more buildings there on the right side of the street? Using that same idea of the one point perspective. So it's just another box sitting there. It's just that the first box blocks a little bit of your vision of the second box. You could turn these into brick buildings. You could do whatever you wanted like that. You could add people. You could add cars. But look at the sense of space that we've created. Look at how far back that building goes. So if the building in the foreground was, say, 100 feet tall, then it gets, they might be just as big, but they're all the way into the far uh, towards the horizon line, so they look much smaller. And that tells us that we're traveling away from where we are. It's space is traveling away. Adding the clouds. Yeah, so here I decided to get rid of that one. It just, it, it sort of distracted from all the rest of it. Guys, we're getting close to being finished with this one. Let's just think a little bit about where the light would be coming from. If the light was over my shoulder, what would it do as the person standing there? Oh, also, look, we're, I just added a couple of people. I added one person in this building. And then I added a tiny little person in the background. So you can use using scale to show distance. Two humans, one tiny, one bigger. <laughs> 